Hi everyone, hi there, I'm Anna. Um, so I'm going to be taking you through um, your stretch and exercise session today. It's going to be physiotherapist led Pilates. So for those of you who've done Pilates before, you'll know it's a really good form of exercise to help work on our core strength, improve our posture, and it can also help with injuries and niggles such as lower back pain. As I'm a physiotherapist, um, I'm going to give you some different options for the different exercise that we're doing. So you can work to the level that works for you, depending on how you're feeling today um, and to compensate or adjust for any injuries that you might have. Okay, and I'm taking the session today from uh, my studio, which is Animated Physiotherapy. It's a studio um, in Note Bridge um, in Billericay. So we're hoping that we're going to be up and running again uh, once all this is over. So it'd be great if you can come and join us here once this is over and hopefully it gives you a bit of a taste of what we might offer in our sessions here as well. Cool, so let's make a start. We're going to start by having a stand up and we're standing with our feet together. From here, we're going to turn our toes out, bring our heels out to match as well. So feet are hip width apart. From here, just giving ourselves a lovely full body stretch. So reaching our arms all the way up and then stretch and open those fingertips nice and wide. Breathing out as you're reaching up and breathe in as you stretch and open those arms apart. So nice big stretch through those shoulders. Let's go for one more big stretch. Breathe out as you reach. Breathe in as you stretch and open apart. Hands come to our sides. Let's roll those shoulders back. So loosening off through our shoulders, opening out through our chest. Don't worry if it feels a little bit crunchy. I think a bit of crunching is good. It shows you loosening off something that's a little bit tight, getting it moving nicely. So we'll bring our shoulders back and down from here. We're going to bring our ear to our shoulder, hand onto our head, other hand behind our back if you can here, gentle pressure onto the side of your head. So we're feeling a stretch into the side of our neck here. Just holding it for a few breaths to stretch into the side of our neck. And then let's go the other way. So other hand behind our back, other hand onto our head, gentle pressure onto the other side of our head, stretching out into the other side of our neck here. And then from here, coming up, let's bring our chin down to our chest this time. If you want to increase the pressure, both hands behind your head, gentle pressure onto the back of your head, stretching out into the base of your neck. Again, holding it here for a few breaths. And then from here, bringing our hands down, lifting our head up. We're going to take our hands onto our hips. Make sure those shoulders are back and down. And we're going to try some pelvic tilting. So we're tipping our pelvis forwards and backwards, letting our lower back arch and flatten as we tilt forwards and backwards here. So this brings the pressure to the side as well. So we're just thinking about tucking our tailbone under, sticking it back, feeling our lower back arching and then flattening back down. So we're mobilizing through the lower part of our back. And we're using our deep back and our deep stomach muscles to help us do this movement. You might do it using your glutes, your, your bottom muscles as well. Let's find neutral spine, that middle point. So not too arched, not too flat. But what feels like the middle for you, a nice neutral posture. Once we're here, drawing our belly button in towards our spine, get those deep stomach muscles working. So drawing up and in through those stomach muscles. Think about drawing up and in through your pelvic floor muscles as well. From here, we're going to relax our hands down. Just taking a moment to think about our feet. So we want to have a nice equal weight through our feet between our left and our right foot. And also think of your foot as a triangle. So that triangle is made up of your heel, your big toe and your, and your little toe. And we're trying to make sure we're nice and central through those three key points in our feet. So a central weight through our left and our right foot and through our heel, our big toe and our little toe. And we're going to think about that foot posture as we go through a few standing exercises here. So keeping a neutral spine, keeping our weight nice and equal through our feet, we're going into the chest stretch. This one, palms facing towards each other, arms are nice and straight, keep those shoulders back and down, core muscles are working. We're reaching our arms up, and then we're going to bend our elbows, stretching back up and coming over in front. Breathing out as you reach up and draw our elbows down, breathing as you stretch up and come over in front. So nice big stretch through our chest, really draw those elbows back and squeeze our shoulder blades together. So really opening up through our chest, warming up through the backs of our shoulders here. Thinking about our posture at the same time. So as we draw our arms down, think about keeping those ribs flat to our stomach, our lower back is staying neutral as we stretch here as well. That's it, breathing out as we reach our arms up and draw the elbows down. Breathe as you stretch up and over in front. Also thinking about keeping our weights equal between our heel and our toes on both our feet here. So as we reach our arms up, we're trying not to shift our weight forwards, okay? We're trying to keep nice and central through those feet. 
We'll go for two more here. And last one. And then from there, bring those arms down, give them a little shake out if you need. Taking our arms and folding them in front of us for our next one, we're going into the spinal twist. So shoulders are staying back and down. On this one, thinking about our pelvis, we're trying to keep our hip bones pointing straight forward. We're trying not to get any rotation through our pelvis. So arms are folded, we're twisting round to one side, back to the front, round to the other side and back. Breathe out as you twist, breathe in as you come back into the centre. So keeping our shoulders back and down, keeping that pelvis pointing forward, just turning our head so our, our head sort of follows our wrists as we twist here. Again, bringing our awareness to our feet, making sure our weight is equal between our left and our right foot, and between our heel, our big toe, and our little toe. Breathing out as we twist, breathe in as you come back to the centre. And we'll go for one more on each side. And then back to the middle from there, relax your arms down, give them a little shake out. Thinking about our legs now, we're going to try some squats. We're keeping our weight a little bit more back into our heels on this one. So you should feel like your weight more into your heels and you could wiggle your toes as you do this exercise if you wanted to. Staying long through the spine, back is neutral. Breathing in as you squat down, breathe out as you push up. So nice and long through that spine. Try not to let the lower back arch as you come down. And we just want a little lean forwards from our hips here. So keeping the back long, leaning forwards from the hips as we squat. Again, think about keeping that weight back into our heels. And just thinking about our knees as well. So making sure we've got a little space between our knees. Our knees should stay about hip width apart. We don't want to uh, come in together. Don't want to push them too wide. Just think about keeping that nice neutral position from our hips. Breathing in as you squat and breathe out as you push up. Try and keep that chest nice and open as well. Try not to round through your back as you bring your arms forward. Keep those shoulders back and down. Thinking about having that lovely tall posture as you complete this one as well. Let's go for two more here, then last two squats. When you've done those last two, coming up from here, and we're going to stretch and warm up through our spine here now. We're going into what's called a roll down. For this one, we're going to bring our chin to our chest, relax our shoulders, soften our knees, we're peeling down through the spine, nice and smooth, in one vertebra at a time. Keep those knees soft, relax through the shoulders, relax through the head, rolling down as low as you can go comfortably. Then from here, Slowly resacking the spine as you roll back up one vertebra at a time, drawing in through your stomach muscles, squeezing your bottom muscles as you roll up, rolling your shoulders back, bring your head up last at the top. Let's try that one again, nice big breath in at the top, breathing out as you're rolling down, breathe in and hold the stretch at the bottom, and breathing out as you reset the spine nice and smoothly, rolling those shoulders back. Head up last. Let's go for one more nice big breath in at the top. Breathing out as you're rolling down. Breathe in and hold the stretch at the bottom. And breathing out as you roll back up again. Nice and smoothly coming up. Roll those shoulders back and it comes up last. Lovely. Okay, from here let's come down onto the floor then. So rolling down again. This time when you can't get any lower, crouching down and we're taking a turn over onto our backs on our mats. So having a lie down onto our backs. Knees are bent. You might use a little towel or pillow behind your head here just to support our head, keep ourselves in that nice neutral position. Thinking about our posture here. So you want to have some length through the back of the neck, little tuck underneath our chin. Imagine you're holding just a little peach there. We don't want to squash it, but we don't want it to roll away. Shoulders are down away from our ears. We're nice and wide through our collarbones. Ribs are flat to our stomach. And then just thinking about our feet. So feet come all the way together, turn your toes out, bring your heels out. So feet are hip width apart, little space between our knees, legs are nice and parallel here like train tracks. Taking our hands onto our hips, feeling those hip bones with our fingertips. We're going to tip forwards and backwards through our lower back here. So you should feel your lower back arching and flattening on and off the mat as you tilt through our pelvis. Just mobilising the move through our lower back, a little bit like we did standing up at the start of the session. So tilting forwards and backwards, mobilising through the lower part of our spine. Again, warming up through those deep back and deep stomach muscles as we complete those tilts. And then we'll find neutral spine, that middle point for you. Holding your back in that middle position, you're going to draw your belly button in towards your spine. Try and get those deep stomach muscles switching on. Make sure you're still breathing though. So it's quite a gentle pull in. 
not so tight that you feel like you can't breathe, okay? Just a gentle inwards pull through that belly button and we're going to try and maintain this neutral spine posture and keep those abdominals working throughout the session. From here, we're going to go into an exercise called 100. Hands are by our side. We're going to stretch and reach our fingertips away and we're pulsing our hands up and down. We're breathing in for five and out for five pulses of our hands. So really lengthen through the arms, stretch the fingertips away. We're staying really still through our body. We're nice and open through our chest and our shoulders as we pulse. Keeping those abs engaged so our back doesn't move here. If you want to give yourself a bit more of a challenge, you can try lifting one leg up into single tabletop. This is a 90 degree bend at our hip and a 90 degree bend at our knee. So holding the leg in that position and we're going to hold it there for 10 pulses of our hands. That should be a breath in and a breath out. When you've done your 10 pulses, lower that leg. Let's try the other leg. Lift the other leg up, holding it there again for 10 pulses of your hands or a breath in and a breath out. So engaging through that centre, keeping that back nice and still as we pulse our hands. Okay, after 10 pulses, let's swap again. Breathe in for five and out for five. And then lower and swap. Still keeping those shoulders back and down. If you want more of a challenge from here, you can progress to level three. So either sticking with uh, your single tabletop or to work with some muscles a little bit more, we're into double tabletop for level three. So both legs are up. So we've got a 90 degree bend at our hips and our knees here, holding our legs here this time. So straight away as we lift the second leg up, we should feel our stomach muscles working a little bit harder. Holding both legs there as we keep pulsing with the hands, breathing in for five and out for five pulses. Keep that nice, smooth, steady breathing, nice and long with the arms. Stretch and reach those fingertips as far away from you as you can. You like keeping the shoulders back and down, keeping that chest open. Let's see if you can hold it here just for one more breath in and one more breath out. And then when you've done that last breath cycle, give your knees a nice hug into your chest. Have a nice stretch through from whichever level you were trying there. Well done. We're going to move on to our next exercise now, which is called the one leg stretch. So for this one, again, I'll go through a few progressions and you can progress with me as you feel is right for you. So level one, again, we're starting in neutral spine. So find that middle point with our lower back. Draw it in through your belly button. Again, keep that chest nice and open. Our shoulders are back and down. Arms are down by our side. For level one, we're going to slide one leg out and then bring it back in. Switch sides, slide the other leg out and bring it back in. Breathing out as you stretch your way. Breathe as you draw the leg back in. You can slide your heel along the floor here if you want to as well. The main things to watch for are making sure that we don't have any rocking or tilting through our pelvis and our lower back is staying in that nice neutral position on the floor. We shouldn't feel our back changing position on the floor as you stretch it. If you want to progress it, level two is single tabletop, stretch away, back to single tabletop and down and then switching side, single tabletop, stretch away, back to single tabletop and down. This one's a little bit harder to coordinate We've still got to work through our centre so that our back doesn't move. Think about keeping that pelvis steady. Make sure we're still breathing as well. So try and time it so you, you breathe out each time you stretch your leg away. Alternating legs here, keeping it nice and controlled. And then one more progression if you want to try it. From here, we're coming up into double tabletop. So both legs are up. Double tabletop position. Level three of the one leg stretch. We're stretching one leg out and then drawing it back in. Swap side, stretch the other leg out and draw it back in, breathing out as you stretch your way, breathe as you draw that knee back in again. Keep it nice and smooth. With this one, the further towards the floor you stretch your heel, the harder you're going to work for your stomach and your back muscles, the more towards the ceiling you stretch, the easier it is. So find um, that angle of your leg that works for you as well. So we're keeping that control through our body as we stretch and bend one leg at a time. Keep it nice and smooth, keeping that control working to that level that feels right for us. So we're keeping that neutral position with our back. We should feel it working our stomach muscles. We shouldn't feel it working through our back. We're managing to stay nice and relaxed through our shoulders, staying open through our chest here. We'll go for two more on each side, whichever level you're trying here. That's it, keep it nice and controlled. And then when you've done those last few, the last two on each side, then let's bring those knees into our chest, give our knees a hug, give our back a nice stretch out here. Well done. Okay, we'll try one more exercise on our backs. Both feet on the floor and hip width apart for this one. And we're going to go into the shoulder bridge. So both hands are going to come down by our sides. And we're thinking about keeping our legs nice and parallel. And we're thinking about mobility through our spine here. 
So we're going to, this time, we're going to lose that neutral spine position because we're going to try squashing down through our back. So we're going to tilt back through the pelvis, squashing our spine into the floor as we go into what's called a posterior pelvic tilt, squeezing our bottom muscles, and then we're going to peel our spine up from the floor, one vertebra at a time. As you get those hips up nice and high, try and get into that nice straight line at the top, through our knees, hips and shoulders, and then we're slowly rolling back down, one vertebra at a time, until we bring those hips all the way back down to the floor, Unclench your bottom muscles, let that back arch. Okay? So tilting back, squeeze your bottom muscles, peeling up through the spine, nice and smoothly, one vertebra at a time, until those hips are up high, and then slowly rolling back down, one vertebra at a time, until we're all the way back to the floor, and just feel that back arch at the bottom. So you're breathing on this one, breathing in to prepare, breathing out as we're rolling up, breathe in and hold the stretch at the top, and breathing out as you peel back down nice and smoothly. Okay, so breathe in at the bottom, breathing out as you roll up, breathe in and hold at the top, and breathing out as you roll back down. You can stick with this one. I'm going to show you a progression if you want to try it for our last few reps. We're going to roll up to the top, hold at the top, we're going to lift one leg up, and then put it down, lift the other leg up, put it down, and then rolling back down nice and smoothly. Okay, we'll try a couple more of those, rolling up, hold at the top, adding in your leg lift if you can, or just sticking with rolling up and down if that feels like it's enough for you. This one's quite a lot tougher on the backs of our legs here, so you will fit into the backs of your thighs a little bit more. Let's go for one more here, adding in that leg lift if you can, and then nice and smoothly, one vertebra at a time, rolling back down. Once those hips are back to the floor, give your knees another hug. Well done. Okay, we're going to take a turn over onto our side for our next one then. So turn onto your side. If you've got a pillow or a towel here, if you stretch underneath your arm up, put your pillow or your towel between your, um, your ear and your shoulder. If you haven't got one, just bending your arm to give yourself a bit more support. We want to think about keeping our neck in that nice neutral position when we're on our sides here. We're going to bend through our hips and knees and we're going into an exercise called the clam. So think about um, lengthening through our trunk. Imagine you've got a little strawberry, we're going to put the strawberry between our waist and the floor and we don't want to squash it. Top hand is on our hip and our top shoulder is back and down. Our heels are squeezed together and then we're lifting and lowering our top knee. Breathe out as you lift up, breathe in as you lower. The tighter you can squeeze your heels together, the more you're going to get out of this exercise. You should start to feel it into the outside of your hip once you've done a few here. So stay nice and long through the body, open through the chest, top shoulders back and down. We're lifting and lowering that top knee. Breathe out as you lift up. Breathe in as you lower. Now to keep it nice and smooth, staying still through that trunk, make sure that strawberry isn't being squashed. Let's go for four more here. We should be starting to fit it into the outside of our hip now. When you've done those last four, we're going to relax that knee down, give that hip a little tap or rub if you need. And then from here, we're going to straighten our legs all the way out. So nice and straight legs, we're straight from the top of our head all the way down to the tip of our toes. Again, think about lengthening through the spine. So think about pushing that top hip away, keeping that little space between our waist and the floor. And try again not to squash that strawberry as we go into our lift and lower. If you can, bring your hand onto your hip here to challenge your um, stability and your balance a little bit more. If you feel like you're really wobbly here, it is a narrow base of support, so you might find you're a bit wobbly, then bring your hand in front. And we're lifting and lowering our top leg. Breathe out as you lift up. Breathe in as you lower down. Stretch and reach those toes away. That's it nice and smooth. Think about staying open through the front of the hip. Squeezing your bottom muscles to bring your heel almost slightly back behind you as you lift and lower. We're still staying long through the spine, top shoulder staying back and down. Breathing out as we lift, breathing as we lower. Okay, on the next one, let's lift and hold at the top. And we're going to draw our toes up towards our nose. Think about pushing our heel away, really stretching through the back of our leg. And we're going to pulse our leg up and down here for 10. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it there. Point your toes. Slowly lower that leg down. Give that hip a tap or a rub there if you need to. Well done. Okay, let's work through our hips on the other side then. So if you take a turn over onto the other side. And we're going to go through the clown again. 
So again, if you've got a pillow or a towel, using that to um, just support your head um, or bending your arms. So we've got that support, so our next day is neutral. Starting off with our hips and knees flexed, long through the spine, waist is away from the floor. So let's imagine we've got a little grape here this time. We're trying not to squash our grape. Top hand on our hip, shoulders back and down. Heels are squeezed together. Breathing out as we lift up and breathe in as you lower down. It's really good here to use your top hand as well for some feedback. So you want to feel your hip bone here and you want to feel to make sure that we're not rocking back through our body as we lift and lower that knee. Okay, we can stay really still through our trunk. The work is coming from our um, glute muscles on the outside of our hip. So it's gluteus medius is the main muscle that's working here. Top shoulder stays away from our ear, so relax through our shoulders, long through the spine, squeezing those heels, working on rotating through that hip. Now to keep it nice and smooth, let's go for four more. And last one, relaxing down there, give that hip a tap or rub if you need to. Well done, okay, working on those hips one more time here, straightening both our legs out. So nice and straight through the legs, again, long through the body, going into our lift and lower. So um, if you feel really wobbly, bring your hand in front. If you can, try bringing your hand onto your hip to challenge our stability a bit more, challenging our balance, working our core muscles a little bit harder. Top shoulder stays back and down, point the toes away. We're lifting and lowering the top leg, breathe out as you lift, breathe in as you lower. Keep it nice and smooth. Really stretch those toes away. That's it. And again, try and think about staying open to the front of your hip. So with this exercise, it's not about trying to get a really big range of movement. So you can on this one, if I cheat, I can get my leg really high here, okay? This isn't what we're aiming for. We're aiming to keep long to the body, keep that gap between our waist and the floor and working into our glutes rather than our hip flexors, okay? So we're almost squeezing to try and open out to the front of the hip. Bring your heels slightly back. Don't worry about a big range of movement. You want to feel like you're working into the outside of our hip here. Let's try a few more here. Still breathing out as you lift and breathe in as you lower. On the next one, let's lift and hold at the top. And then we're going to draw our toes up towards our nose. Push that heel away from us, get that leg nice and straight, and it's pulse up and down here for 10. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it there, point your toes away, and then really smoothly controlling that leg down. Don't give up now, relax it down there, well done. Give that hip a tap or Excellent, well done. Cool, okay. For our next one then, we're going to take a turn onto our hands and our knees. And we're going to go into an exercise here um, called swimming in Pilates. Okay, so knees under our hips and hands underneath our shoulders. Okay, so we're going to turn like a tabletop position here. Our shoulders are back and down, and let's try and find a neutral spine here. So you can try a little bit of pelvic tilting. So again, like we did on our um, backs or when we were standing up at the start, just tipping forwards and backwards there, feeling that movement through our lower part of our back. Find that middle point, and we're going to draw our belly button up and in towards our spine. So get those deep stomach muscles working here to try and keep our stability, keep us nice and still through our body. And we're going to start off by moving to our legs, and then I'll give you the option to add in your arms as well in a moment if you like. Okay, so we're alternating legs. We're going to breathe out as you slide one leg away and lift up, breathing in as you lower it down and slide it back in. Switch sides, slide back, squeeze and lift, lower and slide back in. Try and stay as still as you can for your body here. And again, it's not about how high you lift your legs. It's not about going all the way up here. Again, it's about trying to stay nice and central through our body. Keep that equal weight through our hands. Keep long through the spine. Squeezing your bottom muscles to lift the leg. Think about reaching your toes away rather than lifting them so high, okay? So think about reaching them towards the other end of the room. As we switch from one side to the other as well, try and make sure we're keeping that little space between our knees. So if our knees are coming together, we're doing a bit of cheating really because it's a lot easier to stabilise ourselves with our knees closer together into our midline. The wider our knees are, the harder we're working through our core to keep ourselves nice and steady here. So from here you can add in your opposite arm as well if you're feeling like you're staying nice and still through that lower back. So opposite arm reaches away with the opposite leg, coming back down, and then swap opposite arm, opposite leg, and back down. Still breathing out as you stretch away, breathing as you come back down. Think about really stretching and lengthening through that arm as well. Reach those fingertips away from you. 
palm is facing towards the floor. Stay nice and long through the back of the neck, try not to look down towards your knees unless it's just for a quick check of your posture. Keep squeezing those shoulders away from our ears, stay nice and strong through those arms and through those shoulders. That's it, keep it going. Let's go for two more on each side. And then we're going to just do two more, sneaky extra two. We're going to try and hold it this time. So stretch away, hold it there. I'm going to hold it for a count of 10. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming down and then swapping opposite arm, opposite leg. Stretch and hold it there for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One, slowly coming down from there, and we're going to have a nice stretch here. So sit your bottom back onto your heels, stretch your hands away. So we're coming down into what we call a shell stretch in Pilates. Relax your head down, stretch those hands away, feel that nice stretch. Take a few deep breaths in. And then slowly coming up from there, we'll take a turn over onto our backs. And then on our backs, we'll give our knees a hug into our chest, giving that lower back a nice stretch through. You can let your knees have a nice rock from side to side, or roll them round in a circle if you like. So we're giving our back a nice massage on the floor as you rock or roll our knees. And then bring those legs down, feet on the floor, hands by our sides. Let those knees have a nice gentle rock from side to side. So giving our back a nice stretch out into rotation. Keep it nice and smooth. And hear my squeaky mat on the floor. And then bring those knees back into the middle and then one last big full body stretch. We're going to straighten both our legs away. Stretch and reach our arms up over our head. Point our toes away. Stretch those fingers away as far as they can go. Make yourself as long as you can. Stretch as far away as you can. On your next breath in, try and increase that stretch a little bit more. And then on your next breath out, relax your hands, relax your feet, bring your arms down to your sides. Take a nice big deep breath in through your nose. And then exhale any tension you might have left in your body. Exhale out through your mouth. And then taking a nice slow bend of the knees. Taking a turn over onto our sides and then slowly pushing ourselves back up having a sit up there. And we're all done guys. So well done everyone. I hope you enjoyed the session. Hope you feel like you worked on your posture and your core strength. Hope you've been a bit taller and hope you feel uh, quite nice and relaxed after that with that bit of stretching at the end there as well. So I hope you all enjoyed the session um, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your sessions today as well. Um, and if anyone is interested in looking to come to our sessions when we reopen or we are hosting virtual sessions online um, whilst, whilst we can't operate as usual and um, you can have a look at our website we're animatedphysio.co.uk so if you want to have a look at us and um, have a look there it's animatedphysio.co.uk so enjoy the rest of your day enjoy the rest of the festival and it was great teaching you today guys all right bye everyone